This is review number five for Lord of the Flies. In these chapters, we see that Jack has had enough. Between he and Ralph's leadership, they've come to a head, and Jack decides he, quote, doesn't want to play anymore. So he takes a few of the boys and they scamper off to play games of hunting and killing. Which leads us to believe that the savagery element we've been speaking about as a theme has come to a head. Jack believes that his entire existence on the island is to play games. He wants to paint his face. He wants to hunt. And that leads to the brutal pig scene that we see here in chapter 7. There, Roger actually seems to give the overtones of a rape. Check out the scene. Roger found lodgment for his point and began to push until he was leaning with his whole weight. The spear moved forward inch by inch and the terrified squealing became a high-pitched scream. When the sow is dead, the boys all notice where the spear has been lodged and they make a joke about it. But think about it, that's basically rape. So we've now reached a point where the savages are, well, just that, savage. A lot of people say that William Golding was not an optimist and that he really believed that humanity was truly dark. But I say if that was really the case, we wouldn't get this scene with the Lord of the Flies and Simon. Yes, Simon is having a seizure and hallucinating, but in that hallucination, we get to the main point. The beast says, fancy thinking the beast was something you could hunt and kill. You knew, didn't you, that I'm part of you? Close, close, close. I'm the reason it's no go, why things are what they are. Golding doesn't believe that there's no hope for humanity, just that humanity is its own downfall, something we're getting ready to see in the next chapters. Questions about symbolism, inferences, or the plot? Let me know!